Hi everyone! In today's class, we are going to um, do standing stretches. Hence, that's why I am standing up. So not my usual intro of me being seated. So if you're um, looking for a class um, um, that's not going to go through a vinyasa, so we're not going to flow per se compared to the other classes. So we will be pretty much standing up the entire time. So I hope you have fun. So we are going to start standing up. So I will face you guys and then just um, find a comfortable stance. Okay, maybe feet are together if that's comfortable, maybe hip width apart, maybe even slightly wider, maybe even slightly turned out. So just find a comfortable stance. And then from here, maybe hands on the hips and then just bending the knees, see how they feel. And then from here, we'll do a few hip circles, go in one direction first. A couple of times, you can start off with a small one and then making your way into a bigger circle. And then let's go the other direction. So just a few hip circles here. Just observing how the hips, side body, how they're feeling at the moment. One more breath here. And then from here, we'll release. This time, okay, we'll do the figure eight at the hips. So drawing a few circles here. Okay. <clears throat> or drawing the infinity symbol. One more breath in this direction. Okay. And then from here, still doing the figure eight, but we'll go the opposite direction. So see how that feels. Usually for um, some of my students doing this the first time, it feels a bit awkward. <laughs> One more breath. And then from here, we'll release. We'll shake it off. Maybe shake the hips, shake the hands, maybe even move the shoulders. All right. You can reset the feet if you like. Soft bend at the knees. Inhale, we'll reach the arms up. And then from here, we'll hold on. Our right hand holds onto the left arm or left wrist. We'll pull up. And then as you exhale, we'll lean on towards the right side. Okay. Now, as we hold the shape, go ahead. Your hips, you can press it towards the left any amount as you breathe in and out and then as you stay here you can look down maybe add a little bit of pulsing movement if that feels good for you one more breath and then from here we'll release you can bring the arms down inhale reach the arms up it okay, will switch sides this time left hand holds on to your right arm or wrist pull the right side up and then as you exhale we'll lean towards the left side this time Go ahead, press the hips towards the right any amount. And then you can maybe look down or maybe add a bit of pulsing movement here. Gently pressing the hips out and then release. Pressing the hips out and release. One more breath. And then from here, we'll release. We'll shake it off again. Okay. So getting the hips ready, <clears throat> hands on the hips. From here, we'll lift that right knee up and then we'll just draw circles reaching the foot back. Okay. Right knee forward, open at that hip as you draw it back. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. All right, we'll shake it off. And then let's do that on the other side. Okay, balancing on the right foot. Inhale, left knee, lift it up. We'll reach it back. Okay, so maybe on this side, maybe making it to a more fluid motion. Okay, as you breathe in and out. One more, breathing in and out. All right, and then we'll shake it off. Okay, so this time, so we were bringing the knee forward and back. This time we'll bring we'll bring the leg back and forward. Okay. So from here you lift your right foot, bring the leg back and then forward. So four more times, drawing that circle at the hips, breathing in and out. Know that you can um, tap your foot down. It will help with balance, and then we'll release. We'll shake it off. Okay. One more side. Okay, we'll um, ground on that right foot and then we'll reach that left leg back and then bring it forward. Okay, you can always tap okay, if balance is um, not accessible at the moment. Okay, breathing in and out. Last one, reaching behind and then bringing it forward and then we'll shake it off again. 
All right, this time we'll bring the legs a little bit wider. <clears throat> maybe slightly turn the feet out. Okay, see how this feels? Maybe bend slightly at the knees. Okay, maybe even shift the weight side to side. All right, from here, <clears throat> inhale, we'll reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, we'll bend the knees, press the hips back. Hands can be on the thighs and then we'll roll forward and then we'll roll up. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, we'll find that mini squat, lean forward as we roll all the way up. Do more, inhale and exhale, rolling all the way up. Last one, inhale and exhale. We'll roll all the way up. And then from here, we'll just step the feet together and then we'll shake it off. All right. This time, we'll face the front of our mat. Okay, you'll find your standing pose or tadasana, grounding through the feet. Okay, inhale, we'll reach the arms up. You can look up if you like. And then exhale, we'll fold forward, dive forward all the way down. Okay, so see how your hamstrings here feel. Know that if they are um, not yet co cooperating, you can bend the knees slightly. Okay, and then let's hold on to opposite elbows. Okay, and then from here, we'll stay. Okay, you can maybe wiggle the chest side to side. Okay, see how that feels for you. One more breath here. And then from here, we'll release. Release the hands. Inhale, come up halfway. You can bring the hands on the shins. Exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. Okay, we'll do two more of those. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, we'll fold. Folding at the hips, reaching down. Okay, adding on, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold forward again. Inhale, arms lift. Coming up, standing up. Exhale. Hands back by the sides. Just one more. Breathing in as we reach the arms. Breathing out as we reach for the floor. Breathing in again as the chest reaches forward. Letting it go as you fold. And then coming all the way up as you inhale. And then exhale. Hands back by the sides. Okay, if you need a bit more movement, you can shake it off. Maybe wiggle the hips side to side. All right, we'll add on. Inhale, we'll reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, hands can be on the hips. We'll step that right foot back. Okay, so right foot at an angle. And then inhale, reach the arms up. We'll find warrior one. So find that zipper. Go ahead, you can bend into that left knee. And then from here, we'll turn the chest out to the right. We'll find warrior two. Notice that I've adjusted my back leg. You can always do that in any pose. Finding a, um, a balanced stance, reaching through both arms. And then from here, we'll add the reverse left palm, flip it up, and then we'll reach that left hand back. Okay, holding steady here for a breath. And then as you exhale, we'll come back to warrior two. This time, hands on the hips, turn the chest forward. We'll step that right foot forward. Okay, either make baby steps to the top, okay, and then we'll shake it off. Okay, let's try that on the left side. Inhale, arms lift. And then as you exhale, we'll step that left foot back. Maybe hands come together. Inhale, arms lift up. Warrior one. Zipper, we'll zip it up. And then exhale, we'll open up into warrior two. <clears throat> Can bend any amount at the front knee. Inhale, we'll add that reverse. Right hand reaches up and back. And then as you exhale, we'll come back to warrior two. Again, you can find baby steps to the top or just step that foot forward. And then we'll shake it off. All right, we'll add on to our standing stretches. Inhale, arms lift up. And then as you exhale, you'll step your right foot out to the side again. Okay, this time we'll find warrior two already, arms out to a T. Breathing in and out. From here, we'll straighten that left leg out. We'll reach that left arm forward and then left hand can land inside, on the mat, on a block, 
on the leg <laughs> or outside. So no, there are several options. If you need more height, you can grab the block and then we'll let that right arm reach up. So opening the chest towards the right side, letting your right hip reach behind, but still finding that effort of the thighs hugging in towards each other. One more breath here as we hold. And then from here, you can look down. We'll rebend that left knee as you come up to warrior two, inhale. And then from here, again, either baby steps or step that right foot forward, hands can come together. You can shake it off. Left side, inhale, arms lift. As you exhale, left foot steps back, arms out to a T. We'll find warrior two here, breathing in and out. Okay, so find that stance where it's accessible for you bending into that front knee from here we'll find triangle pose right leg will straighten it out we'll reach that arm forward and then land that right hand maybe on the shin inside outside edge of the foot and then we'll start to open the chest the left hand reaches up towards the ceiling now if you're holding on to the the or the bottom arm notice that we're not dumping the weight push away from that bottom hand so you breathe in and out Okay, one more cycle here and then from here you can look down we'll come up into warrior two again inhale and then as you exhale we'll step forward maybe hands come together and then hands back by the sides we'll shake it off again okay finding tadasana inhale arms lift up and then as you exhale we'll step out again to our warrior two breathing in and out okay we'll add on from here this time left hand reach it forward left forearm onto the thigh and then right arm reaches up and over breathing in and out okay now if you feel all of the weight is on the left leg make sure you're pressing that right foot down one more breath and then from here we'll come back up into warrior two inhale and then as you exhale step forward maybe hands come together Okay, left side, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, we'll step that left foot out. We'll find warrior two again. Breathing in and out. Okay, right arm reaches forward, land it on that right thigh. Left arm reaches up and over. Breathing in and out. So you can look up, look up towards the top arm. Okay, so making sure your back leg, you're pressing it down. One more cycle here. Okay. You can look down. We'll come up again to warrior two. Inhale. And then as you exhale, we'll step forward again. And then we'll shake it off. And as you breathe in and out. Okay, so standing again in Tadasana. Inhale, we'll reach the arms up. And then exhale, we'll fold forward. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. And then as you exhale, either hands on the uh, mat or you can have hands on your um, blocks, okay? And then you can choose any block height that you like. And then from here, we'll balance on three points, okay? We'll start to lift that right leg up, okay? Breathing in and out. So just reaching through that right foot and then the chest reaching forward. Inhale and exhale. And then from here, we'll bring that right foot down. Go ahead, you can fold forward any amount. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. I'll just flip my blocks down. Okay. And then this time, we'll lift that left leg up. Okay, so staying here in our warrior three, chest reaching forward. Again, we can keep our hands down on the block. One more breath. And then from here, left foot down. Okay, we'll fold forward. Inhale, we'll come all the way up, hands lift up, and then exhale, hands back by the sides. Okay, one more round. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, we'll fold all the way down. Inhale, come up halfway. So again, choose your block height, or maybe for some, hands are down on the mat. So up to you. Okay, we'll balance on that left leg. Okay, grounding through the palms, inhale, we'll lift that right leg up. Okay, breathing in and out. Now, if you want to explore, go ahead. Maybe you'll start to come up to the fingertips. Maybe you'll even start to float the arms 
um, maybe reaching back, maybe reaching off to the sides, or maybe reaching towards the front. Up to you. One more breath. And then from here, hands down, we'll bring that right foot back. And then we'll fold forward. We'll come up halfway again. Let's take that on the left side. Okay, from here, balancing on that right leg, left leg lifted up. Okay, so reaching through that back foot, breathing in and out. Again, you can stay on the blocks, balance on three points, or maybe explore balance on this leg. Bring the hands again to where it's comfortable for you, or maybe even play around with the arms if you like. And then from here, hands down, left foot down as we fold forward. Breathing in and out. Then when you're ready, we'll come all the way up. Inhale. And then exhale, hands back by the sides. Okay? And then we'll shake it off. All right, this time I'll face you again. Okay, and then we'll bring the legs wide apart. Okay, so same way we started. Okay, soft bend at the knees. Inhale, we'll reach the arms up. And you can look up as you exhale, we'll find that mini squat. We'll roll, fold forward, and then roll all the way up. Inhale, reaching up. As you exhale, we'll find that mini squat, leaning forward, folding as you roll. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Rolling forward, all the way up to standing. Then we'll step the feet together. Last one, inhale, bring the arms up. And then this time, hands come together. Maybe closing the eyes for a moment. And namaste. So I hope that was accessible for you, especially um, for those who are looking into getting into um, yoga or starting a yoga practice. So if you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. So I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by Joanne Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.